With the fast decline of insect pollinators alarming scientists, Penn State graduate student Emily Erickson is focused on a conservation solution. So what I'm doing here, these three on the bottom are actually just feeder colonies. So this is where I'll raise all my butterflies that I'll do my tests on in these cages. Erickson's research looks at native bee species and diverse groups of insects to see which ornamental plant species are most attractive to insect pollinators. More than 80% of the world's plants and almost three-fourths of our major food crops depend upon pollinators. Farmers depend on pollination to produce food that can be sold locally. One of Erickson's most recent studies focuses on butterflies' nectar-to-sugar ratios to see which plants the pollinators prefer. She tracks the sugar concentrations by putting a different sugar treatment in each cage. Understanding the pollinators' nutrition helps her and other researchers address planting and vegetation efforts. Erickson is also trying to identify what flower traits are attractive to pollinators. Insects like bees are essential for plant reproduction because without them, crops can't grow. It, it makes me excited that the work that I do now could have a major influence on pollinator health in the long run. Erickson's research will broaden the availability of certain plants so more people can buy them and help save the pollinators. In University Park, I'm Aaron Dolan for the Center County Report.